Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, smash that subscribe button, turn post notifications on. I upload every single day. Today's video is going to be about what you need to know right now. We're going to use the Hidden Truth Oracle. But before we do that, we got some announcements to make. And that is I have a Patreon and an OnlyFans where I'm going to be giving you exclusive content on the OnlyFans and because of YouTube censorship and certain things. So if you want the full uncensored tarot readings and more exclusive that won't be on YouTube, be sure to check out the OnlyFans. However, Patreon, I'm setting up a membership. I already set it up. So if you're interested in how to manifest the manifestation journey and being able to learn about the law of assumption, law of attraction, quantum physics, and being able to have live access to Q&As and simply just more exclusive content that won't be uploaded here on YouTube. And if it does, it will be very later on in the future. So you will have access before anyone else but i'm mainly keeping it for patreon so that's another way to support me on these other platforms however let's just get into the messages of what you need to know let's get into this aries what's going on what do you need to know what are they hiding from you this can be if you're single or the person you're talking to but if you're not like having any situations going on then you shouldn't be watching this video however a card did fall i want you okay aries excuse me my bad aries somebody wants you is this someone you're talking to or is this someone from the past let's see is they hitting are they hiding or hidden agendas within this I want to tell you how I feel. Ooh. What's going on, Aries? I see you. I left you before you could leave me. Okay, so this is definitely a past person. I want to know which message resonates more. If this is someone that you had a relationship with and things just didn't work out and they had an ego battle and wanted to leave and break your heart and in, in a sense because they were afraid to get hurt because of their past and their trauma but let me know because i'm getting another message is they weren't really showing you their full self and they wanted to play a game with you and you weren't tolerating that and they could pick up on it so they left you but let's get one more card to just see where they were were they in a bad energetic spot and just going through the healing journey or was this because of the ego like were they afraid to give you their heart i am afraid to contact you i'm gonna pull from the top deck it was a spiritual lesson okay so they went on their spiritual journey and they had to face the music and you know they are afraid to contact you because they understand the lesson. You taught them a lesson and you learned the lesson too. This was an experience that you had to go through. Let's see what we have for Taurus. So I'm guessing most of these will just be about past energy since Aries is already starting off like that. So what do you need to know? Oh my God. Wait a minute. So there's one card that I fell and I was struggling to pick it up and it fell face down. But... I left when I saw you with someone else. Ha! Ah, <laughs> that little childlike energy of just being childish and really like, what the hell, man? Why? Why do that to yourself and me? I couldn't let you get close to me. Mm. I'm getting a sense like they regret not opening up and expressing themselves to you and willing to commit because now they see you happy and moving on and healed going forward on your journey so that made them jealous that made them ah they keep thinking about you now yeah now you want to think about what you missed out on once you see me moving on and healing and really enjoying my best life that's so childish and toxic 
That's the energy, though. I hid who I, I told you. They, they were hiding who they were. They were they wore a mask. And on bottom of the deck, I hope that you can forgive me one day. Followed up with the I hid behind material things. Oh, but they are becoming a better person. I gave you an extra bonus because I felt like Tauruses were like, so what do I do? <laughs> uh, I think the main thing now is that, you know, they understood the lesson and experience, but they cannot, they don't see themselves contacting you, especially since they think you already moved on and that you're healed and you're trying to pursue something that is healthy, which you should. And they hid behind materialistic things. They wore a mask. They weren't showing you who they really are. But now they want to come back into your life once they see you're moving on. And I think that's just a very toxic, toxic way of handling things. They should have been mature adults to sit down and open up. This is where I am. I am afraid, but I like you. I have feelings for you. And let's just see where things go at an easy pace so I don't sabotage this. And then however you would have taken that is what would continue. But on the other hand, that didn't play out that way. So Gemini's, what do we have for you? Gemini, 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 what do you need to know? What is the hidden truth? Excuse me. I wish things would be different. Mm. Uh I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. They're taking accountability, responsibility. They understood the mission and experience that you had with this person. But I'm getting the sense before I pull this card up, I'm not even looking at it. I feel like they deeply regret it and they might want to contact you, but they know they can't. I feel you even though we are apart. Oh. And this is the reason why I left before you could leave me. What's up with this game, man? Why, why are so many people playing this game? Bottom of the deck, I want to feel that way again. You made them feel like it was too good to be true, and they were afraid, so they backed up into the shadow and didn't want to really heal and move forward and pursue this relationship that you were standing integrity and willing to commit and really move a direction forward. And this person just regressed it now. We got to get into cancer though. What's going on with cancer? What is the message for cancer? Bada boom. I hid behind material things. Come on, really? That's how we doing cancer? Come on, man. Oh, but you, you, you act immature. That's what it is, huh? But you, but you don't want to speak on what you were hiding behind. You don't want to expose yourself, huh? It's time for me to heal now. Now you're exposing the truth. And hey, that's that's something you got to respect when someone takes accountability and responsibility. But they stalking you. They say they need to heal, but they stalking you. Or they just saw you at a random point in time. But I feel like there's no coincidence. I feel like something was planned. That even if you didn't notice them or you play the game, like, who's that? Let me play this game. You want to play this childish game? We can play these games. And you played it so well that that they, I feel like they just realized. Sometimes they they still think about you, though. Yep. You want to play these games, though. Oh, you're going to remember me. Mm. Mm. I'm going to pull one last card for you because this is very interesting. Finding out the truth crushed me. Yep. I feel like this was a closing of a karmic relationship and simply seeing the things that both parties need to work on, not just pointing fingers. Both parties had to work on something because you manifested this person. So there was a lesson. There was a spiritual lesson. And I'm hoping that you as well have learned it and are actually healing instead of socking your ex, doing all this nonsense that is really just drama, toxic and unhealthy for your soul leo what's going on with you though what's going on with leo come on oh my god hold up reshuffle it was like four cards one card was in my hand the other three were like flying everywhere oh this card flew right out i'm starting to understand our connection 
Are they growing? Are they learning? Is there a spiritual lesson or are they playing games? Here's a pro. Oh, man. I was about to show you one, but two cards. I couldn't let you get close to me. Follow it up with two. I know that I crossed the line. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. At least they're taking awareness, but are they applying the change? And why was there a battle of ego or were they just afraid to love? I wish I could share my good news with you. Hmm. What kind of news, though? What kind of news? What kind of news? Damn. They don't even want to take the initiative action to contact you to tell you anything. But reality is it's because of guilt and shame and feels like you might not want to even to speak to them or talk to them as a friend or at an arm's distance because they know they crossed the line. They messed up. And I'm going to energetically advise you one of two things. If you are healed, you moved on from it, you learned it, you are applying your life, you're in a better space and you're emotionally detached and you're aware of the situation and what it was, you might be able to make a contact and see how things go, but not into rushing into a relationship. But if you're wanting to attempt, I would say keep it at an arm's distance and set boundaries and see if they can respect it and accept it. That way you can see where they stand and what can really happen and what what they're really trying to get to tell you. Because that, that whole card of I wish I could share my news with you, good news with you. And the first card was I'm understanding the connection. So I'm giving you two. I'm trying to meet you in the middle, but I'm going to pull from the top deck. Yeah, they still think about you. Like you're, you probably live rent free in their head, honestly, especially with music i'm gonna pull one more give you a bonus yeah they say they deeply miss you they love you they still have feelings for you but the main question is is it real is it pure now is it authentic are they not gonna wear a mask are they gonna show who they really are now if not get the f out of there get out don't don't even put yourself there that's up to you though Virgo, Virgo, what's going on with Virgo? Yo, Virgo, what's the message for you, though? Ba -da -ba -ba. Yes, sir. How are y'all doing before we get the card for Virgo? I hope Libra season is treating you well. If you did, if you made it this far, smash that like button, turn post notification on after you subscribe. Greatly appreciate your love and support. But Virgo, this this cards are not these cards ain't coming out. What is it? Hold on, Virgo, what's the message for you? Come on, make a card. I know you need something right now. Yeah, there we go. I left when I saw you with someone else. God damn, here we go again. Oh. Oh, all, all three cards fell upright. The first thing I'm reading, I'm starting to understand our connection. That was the first card I read. And the other two, right here. I couldn't let you get close to me. I hid behind materialistic things. Mm. Is that how you really rocking, though? You, you ain't tolerating that. You, I feel like you're just, this is you, brother. You're like, yeah, I know. We, we ain't playing these games, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm moving on, and I got it like that. So, therefore, you ain't ever going to experience this type of materialistic lifestyle. And guess what? You can't even get the sauce of the love. Yeah. What the fuck you mean? Two cars wanted to come out. I wish I could share my good news. I want to tell you how I feel. Oh, now you ready. I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't playing that shit no more. Uh, I don't even got to say nothing, but I'm just going to say it for the Virgos who may still be attached to this past situation, this person. Be very careful. Keep things at a arm's distance. And I would simply advise you to also not even entertain it, honestly. Honestly. Don't entertain it. Libra, what's going on with you? Oh, man, a card already flew out. What the fuck, Libra? I want to be more than friends. You didn't even let me get to say anything, but you know what? It's your birthday. I feel like you just, you're like, I'm here. Let's go. Okay, bye. Thank you. Like, that's you. What else? Why do I want to be more than friends, though? Hmm? I don't react when people mention you. 
so they're mature they they understand or they just distracting themselves avoiding the pain trying to fill the void with party and drugs and etc because you were the best thing to happen in my life Oof. Oof. libra uh-oh what you get yourself into the timing just wasn't right for us. Okay. Hmm. I want to pull one more from the bottom. I feel it, Stan. Libra, I feel you're still a part of me. I miss you. I love you. Hopefully we meet again. And they're like playing Romeo and Juliet, crying, eating popcorn, eating munchies, just wanting to text you, but they keep deleting the text before they could even send it because they don't have the courage to reach out to you or they just feel like it's not the right time. So let me not force this. If it happens, it happens. That's what I'm getting. Scorpio. Yo, Scorpio. What's going on with your life? How seductive are you getting? <laughs> I feel like Scorpio's got someone trapped. They got someone trapped in the loop. The person riding a hamster wheel like, I need Scorpio. I need, I need the person. I need you in my life again. <laughs> I will wait for a sign from you. Give them the booty call. Give them the booty call. They gonna answer the call and they gonna show up. Oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe they understood now. They peep the game, spirit. Let them know what's really going down. What the fuck? Spirit let spirit let them know what's going down. Spirit was like, what the fuck are you trying to do here? It's over. One more card, though. I wish I could take my words back. Oh, never mind. You ain't even trying to entertain it. You ain't trying to be seductive no more. You turned into a Virgo like, leave me the fuck alone, bitch. Bitch as a female dog. Anyway, one more. Bottom of the deck after a quick shuffle. They still feel that you're a part of them. You know, this was a deep connection. It just, things got hot and heavy and intense and, you know, they crossed the line. They disrespected you and you was like, nah, fam, I'm about to make you my slave because I'm the under, oh, oh, no. yeah, there's still jealousy, pain, trauma, healing that needs to play more of effect as well. I don't know if it's you as well, because if they, they, you know, they stalking you. Unless you're stalking them too, then you know that I would just recommend like take your energy back, put it to your life, and focus on you and really do the healing and the spiritual work. Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius need to know? Well, come on, let's see. Sagittarius, Bagatarius, Swagatarius, the gods, the gods. I left you before you could leave me. Ah oh, man. Thing is, Sagittarius don't give a fuck. Like, I left when I saw you with someone else. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, Sagittarius don't give a fuck. They they know, like, yo, I'm a Sag. I really got it like that. I'm a prince. I'm a princess. I really got it like that. I could lay this shit down, make you get addicted to me like a drug, but you don't understand. I run these streets with my sauce. What else? I knew exactly what I was doing. Mm, yeah, that's why that's why you moved on so quick. You understood. You peep game. You, you understood the writing on the wall and you took it and you accepted it. And now I'm hoping that you fully healed and recovered from it. But just know they suck in your ass. But they regret it. They regret it. Now that jealousy flowing too when they see you happen, like happy, laughing, chilling with a new person. Mm. Oh, you done triggered all of their trauma. All of it. Yeah, you triggered all the trauma because now they had to face that trauma. They have to heal from it or else they just going to get spin the fuck out. That's all I got for you, though. We're going to get to Capricorn. Capricorn, what's going on with you, man? I say this every time. I'm always going to say it. Capricorn, make time for love. I know you too deep in the work, being the goat that you are, but you got to have that love, baby. What's going on? I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. No, damn. The, the, I'm becoming a better person. Okay. Another, yo, top deck. I don't know why. Let's see. 
I know that I was just about to ask, did they cross a line and really fuck up? And boom. Damn. They're on the deep, deep, heavy emotion of like this person crying and regretting and feeling shamed and guilty for their own actions. And I feel that sincere. And I don't know why, but I guess as well as this message, I think they're trying to apologize for their doing. And they understood the oop. Yeah, this card fell right on top of the table. It was halfway off the I know I crossed the line card. So, like, they deeply regret it. They do apologize energetically or just trying to really. Y'all hear that? Is it raining? Oh, wow. The world is crying right now for Capricorn. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. We just got to double check that. Yeah. The world is definitely crying right now for Capricorn. Yo, they, they, they know they messed up. They, they, Damn, the energy just got really intense, too. Hold on, one more card, one more card before we move on. Hold on, hold on. I left when I saw you with someone else, yeah. Mm. They, I, either one of two things, they might be lurking on you, but if this was just random and they just got very scared and just didn't want you to notice them, but I feel like you noticed them, and I feel like they just, oh, yeah, they still think about you. You still they you still like pop up in their mind. They have deep feelings for you and they they realize what they did and they really want to become a better person. They are becoming a better person. But I'm also getting that when they saw you with someone else, they it really got scared and maybe that brought up more of the facing of what they did and I think they are just on a journey of healing and really trying to right their wrongs even if they can't connect back with you on whatever type of level and wherever they stand as well as where you stand but if you're with someone else and you're trying to move forward i would recommend just you know if you can accept the apology clean up the bridge and it doesn't mean you have to bury and burn bridges if it's something that it could be long lasting and fruitful go for it if not accept it i i thank you and I hope you heal and move on if they contact you. Aquarius, what's going on? Aquarius, what's going on for you? Celestial beings of the universe. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Too many cards. I don't even know which one to read first. But this was the first card that flew out and the two cards that landed in my hand. And I'm just going to say like this. You came closer than anyone. I regret lying to you. We will be together again. This person is holding a lot of faith. Rather, if this, if you feel that way too, but I think I think they reg they deeply regret it. Obviously, they regret lying to you. But the question is, the question is, did they cheat on you, or they disrespect you? What kind of what type of lying was there? And I feel like you you already know too. But they're starting to understand the connection. They understand what the experience and lesson was. But the question is, will you actually come back together down the line when the time is right? Or is that a done deal? Mm. Mm. Bottom of the deck, I wish things would be different. I'm going to do one more. One more and I, bam. You and I were too young. Yeah, I think this might be a thing that comes about later down the line, depending on where you are energetically, as well as them on their own journey. But I wouldn't hold on to it. I would just say live your best life, continue healing, continue going forward and, you know, persevere through the the healing process. You know, it's easier said than done, but it is possible. Pisces, what do we have for you? I'm sorry, y'all, but that. What which sign was that again? That got really deep. Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn. That okay. I got two cards, but I don't know. Oh. I will wait for a sign from you. The energy got deep right when it hit Capricorn and then the rain, man. That's all I had to say. But let's see what we got for you, Pisces. My bad. My bad, Pisces. Hold up. Bottom of the deck. I am not available. Woo. Mm, they're gonna wait for a sign, but they not available. Are they just Fucking 
and drinking, having fun, not facing the pain, not facing the trauma, really healing, doing the spiritual work. They just saying, I'm not available. I can't do it. It's too much. Pisces, Pisces is too magical, man. They got me lost. They got me in a loopy loop loop. The timing wasn't right for us. Mm. Oh, my God. Damn. I know I messed everything up. Uh, mm. I messed up, Pisces. I'm trying to pick up on, were they not emotionally available during the time period you guys were talking or together? Or is that them now because of the pain, the trauma, they're not facing it, and the time wasn't right? I'm going to pull one more from the top deck. I wish I could take my words back. Ooh. Harsh, disrespectful things were said. And Pisces ain't playing. I'm going to pull one more deck. I'm going to split the deck in half and show you the top the bottom deck. I left you before you could leave me. Mm. Yep, a battle of ego. Not facing the fucking the love and beauty and just really playing this childish game, man. I don't like that. And that's what I picked up from you. You like, bro, you wasted my time. But you know what? I'm gonna keep being a magical fish swimming in the sea and scout my options. That's all I have for y'all. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, I deeply appreciate you. And make sure you check out the Patreon and the OnlyFans for exclusive content. I already mentioned all of that in the beginning of this video. But be sure to check out my latest videos right here and plenty of more on the channel. And I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.